Jesus, we thank you for your invitation to each of us to come and to be here present with you in the Blessed Sacrament. We thank you in particular this night for the great feast of Pentecost that you gave us. The gift of the Holy Spirit to come and to renew the face of the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift that the Spirit is in our lives. When we feel a little lost, looking for a sense of direction, we ask God's Spirit to come and to be with us, to guide us, to be our wisdom, to know what's best, what's right. Oh Holy Spirit, we thank you for coming into our lives and for helping us to be better Christian people. A reading is taken from St. Paul to the Romans. People who are interested only in unspiritual things can never be pleasing to God. Your interests, however, are not in the unspiritual, but in the spiritual, since the Spirit of God has made, us, has, his, has made his home in you. In fact, unless you possessed the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to him. Though your body may be dead, it is because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then your spirit is life itself, because you have been justified. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through the spirit, through his spirit living in you. So then, my brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual selves or to live unspiritual lives. If you do live in that way, you are doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put an end to the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Everyone moved by the Spirit, is a child of God. The Spirit you received is not the Spirit of slaves, bringing fear into your lives again. It is the Spirit of children, and it makes us cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself and our Spirit bear united witness that we are children of God. And if we are children, we are heirs as well, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, sharing his sufferings so as to share his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Everyone moved by the Spirit is a child of God. The gift of the Spirit brings us new life. The message of Pentecost is one of change. When the apostles were in the upper room, they were full of fear. But when the Spirit descended upon them, they were changed people. We are very grateful to have a Spirit who comes to us and lives within us and changes 
the course and direction of our lives. And so we ask you, Holy Spirit, to come and to be with us, to guide us, to lead us, and to help all of us in these Pentecost days. And so as we implore you, Holy Spirit, to come into our lives and to change all that needs to be changed, we turn to Mother Mary in the third glorious mystery of the Rosary, the descent of the Holy Spirit and the Apostles. Come and I will show you the bride of the Lamb, the glory of love and renewal. I have come to cast fire upon the earth, and would that it be enkindled. The apostles were gathered around Mary in prayer, as we are today, when the Holy Spirit descended upon them in tongues of fire. And that same fire of divine love that inflames the hearts of Jesus in the Eucharist where the very love of God is poured into our hearts. The Holy Eucharist is the new and everlasting covenant, the sacrament of unity, the bond of love between God and man. His Eucharistic heart 
is the source of all love. As the sun is the source of all energy, warmth and light. Here he enables us to love one another as he has loved us. By giving us the divine grace and strength to love not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. The church is the bride of Christ who nourishes us and renews us unceasingly in his Holy Eucharist. Here Jesus renews his spirit within us and gives us a new heart. I shall give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. Jesus exchanges our stony hearts with his very own heart of flesh by giving us the gift of himself in this most blessed sacrament. Eucharistic heart of Jesus, divine furnace of charity, inflame my heart with perfect love for you as I give you all that is unclean and ugly within me in exchange for all that is pure and beautiful within you. Jesus, make me holy and make my heart so like unto yours that your love will shine through me like a light through a window so that others may see you in me. Like a monstrance, may I show you to the world. Through Mary, the spouse of the Holy Spirit, we pray for a new Pentecost today where you send your spirit to everyone. May the fire of your divine love, like the rays of the sun, which shine on all, go out to touch, bless, help, and heal everyone. May the Holy Spirit, which flows from your Eucharistic heart, come to each one and renew the face of the earth that there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Jesus, we make our prayers this night. We thank you for the great gift of Pentecost. We thank you for the descent of the Holy Spirit, not just on the apostles so many years ago, but on all of us. We ask you to renew our lives, Jesus. We ask you to come to bless us and help us to live better lives, more Christian lives. We ask you to renew the face of the earth. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We think of all our young people at this time. Facing an exam can be a very, very hard task. We ask you to help all our young people to know that exams are not everything, but that we ask the Holy Spirit to come into their lives at this exam time and to help them as they face these exam papers. And then to know that you are with them every step of the way as they face the future and try to decide upon careers and life choices. So for all our young people, we pray, pray Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the whole church. We ask God's Spirit to come and to remain with Pope Francis all those who lead us in the faith. Lord, let your spirit come upon all our church leaders. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are sick, in mind, body, or spirit. We ask you, Lord, to heal the pain and suffering that's in our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who have died, those recently, those a long time ago, those who have nobody to remember them. Grant them all eternal rest. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Mary, we give you all our prayers spoken and unspoken. We ask you to place them here before Jesus. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implore thy help, sought thy intercession, and was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand. Sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate, despised in my petitions, but in thy clemency, graciously hear and answer me. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, through the hearts of your faithful and enkindle within all of us the fire of your love. 
send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of all the earth. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.